Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a payment link on Stripe, which can be a great way to easily accept payments from your customers and ultimately sell those products or services from anywhere just in a simple link that you can create. And additionally, you can do this without a website, so you don't need a website either. You go ahead and create those easy payment links so you can text it or send it directly to your customer or whoever you're going to want to accept those payments from. And you can do this completely for free very easily within the Stripe platform. Of course, you would have to pay, of course, some sort of payment processing fees, but that's pretty much standard uh, across any different type of payment platform, uh, but you can create it and start selling very easily. So I was going to be showing you here in today's tutorial how to do that step by step exactly. But before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel and these videos. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, payment links are an easy way uh, to accept payments. You can easily uh, offer Apple Pay with Stripe. Uh, you can then create that link, match it with like logo, colors, anything that you would like. And then you can then share that link, uh, embed it on a website if you want to as well, or you can uh, alternatively share it directly to customers uh, via QR code over um, a link, or you can share that uh, via social media as well. And then you can get paid, of course, uh, and get those deposited right to your bank account for payment of those uh, products or services or whatever type of thing you're looking to sell. Now, you can also do, in addition to one-time products, you can also sell uh, subscription-based products as well. So as you can see here, a product or service or a subscription or as well as for collecting donations. So you can do all those things here with payment links. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So of course, first thing first, you're going to want to make sure that you are signed in and logged into your Stripe account. Now, currently I have this set up on a test mode, uh, so that it is just utilizing, you know, test test data. Uh, so if you do, you know, obviously if you want to accept payments, you do need to complete your full business profile uh, so that you can get approved with Stripe in order to start accepting payments. Uh, but essentially the process is essentially the same difference, whether you're on test mode or the real um, accepting payments to create a payment link. What you need to do first, uh, if you're not already on the payment links page, uh, you may need to come over here to um, the left hand side, you may or may not see it in the product section if you're not already on it. Uh, but what you can also do here is just search for uh, payment link. And then you can go directly to payment links and that will bring you to uh, the payment link creation page. If you just search for payment links, uh, as you can see, I'm already on that page here. And then next, we're going to come over here to the middle and click create test payment link. So this will create a, a test version of this. Of course, if you're doing this for real, you would want to create a real um, test payment. And this is also good maybe to do in test mode, just so you can make sure that everything works before actually activating uh, everything on there. So, you know, that could also be good for, for you as well. So once you've clicked that, it will bring up the payment link creator. Uh, up here, you can select between, you know, if you want to sell products or subscriptions, uh, which is where you can, you know, that would be best for e-commerce or software as a service. If you're going to be selling uh, something specific, or you can have something uh, where it's like customers choose what to pay. So this would be more for like tipping donations or pay what you want. Uh, so you can see the difference here. If it is a, you know, customers pay what they want type of deal, like a donation box or something where you're just accepting sort of like almost giving them a blank check that, that you can have them write how much money they want to pay you. Uh, that will be the option here and they can write in the dollar amount uh, on the purchase page. Uh, alternatively, which is probably most people are going to be doing a specific product or service, uh, such as like a service based business. If you just want to create payment links, or if you're maybe a content creator, lots of different avenues, obviously for this situation, but to add a product, what we're going to do is, uh, because we don't have any products on the Stripe account yet, we're going to go ahead and click add new product, uh, because you do need to actually add a product in order to sell, uh, that product here on the payment link and you are required to put a name for it. So in this case, we're gonna call it like lawn service. Uh, you could name this anything you want, depending on what you wanna sell. You can make this recurring uh, or one-off. So in this case, maybe if you are running like a lawn business or something like that, uh, where you're offering like a lawn service at a monthly rate, that could be great. Maybe a hundred dollars a month or something. You set the billing period to be monthly. Now you do also have the option here, uh, for recurring or one-off. I know I, I clicked on recurring right away. 
Um, but one off is pretty straightforward, right? You have the dollar amount, you have the title here. You can also upload an image if you would like uh, to add an image to this page. You can also add a description as well if you wanna describe your product or describe your dish, right? Um, so you can add that here. You can also change the currency. Now the default currency, I believe would be US dollar. For me, I'm gonna leave it in US dollars. You can select from a multitude of different currencies. They have a lot of different countries in here. Uh, way too many to name um, as far as all the different currencies that you could put that, that number in, depending on what country you're in or what kind of currency you want to be using uh, on your Stripe account. Uh, and then you can go to more options as well. So you can also set up uh, the specific statement that would be shown on your customer's bank statements. Um, this would override the default descriptor, uh, which could be good in case of like, if customers are like confused as to what it would look like. Typically, it might have Stripe on it or your business name on it. Uh, so if you wanted to override that and maybe make it something more recognizable, you can also do that there too. Um, and that's what would show up on like a customer's bank statement, whether it be their uh, checking account or their whatever credit card they may have used to pay. Uh, you can also set up the unit label as well. So you can uh, describe like how things are sold, whether it be like, you know, as you can see here, seats or tiers. Uh, you also have some metadata that you can add as well if you want to. Again, none of this is required. This is all just extra information. Uh, you can also add a marketing feature list if you wanna add some features there and you can add multiple lines as well. Um, those are just additional options if you would like to add that to this page. But to look at the recurring option again, we have $100 and we have the billing period set to monthly. Now you can set this to daily, uh, weekly, monthly, yearly, every three months, six months, or even custom. Uh, so you can even set it up to like every two months or something like that. So you can really uh, get pretty granular as far as how often you want that billing period to be. Um, you can do you know, recurring or one-off. You also have some additional uh, pricing options here as well. Um, if you want to show some more advanced price descriptions, we're just going to go ahead and uh, close out of that there, but you do have some other pricing options. These are pretty much the standard ones, uh, that most people would use. And then you just go ahead and click add product. And now we have created and added the lawn service product. So subscribe to lawn service, a hundred dollars per month. Uh, and then it will bill the customer and you could also let them adjust the quantity if you want it to be able to be something that they can purchase multiple of. If not, like in this case, a lawn service, people probably aren't going to be buying, you know, they, they probably have just one house that you're uh, going to be cutting their lawn, you know, for whatever the monthly rate is. You can also add additional products too, if you want to add some other products uh, to the page. Uh, if you would like to do that, you can add multiple products too. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and click cancel there in this case, um, but you can add additional products too, if you would like to. You can then uh, select to uh, collect the customer's address. So if you need the customer's address, uh, you can do that. You don't have to. Um, you can require customers to provide a phone number. Again, you don't have to. The bare minimum essentially is email, card, and name. That's the minimum. You don't have to collect anything else. Oh, and the zip code, of course. Um, but that's just for credit card security purposes. Like if you want to get the address, you could do that too. Um, or you can do billing and shipping address. If you're going to be shipping like a physical product, you would need to select that. So make sure you select those options there. If you are going to be selling something that's physical or needs to be shipped out to customers, um, more in the case of e-commerce, if you're just selling a service, you don't really need all that information. You basically just need the dollar amount and the card details. You can also require, like I said before, with the phone number, you can also include a free trial uh, for like 30 days and then it would let customers um, do a free trial essentially, which is pretty cool. You can actually set up a free trial here uh, on Stripe. And that's definitely something that like most other payment platforms don't have the option um, of offering is some sort of free trial period, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can even opt to let customers, um, you know, start the trial without a payment method wouldn't necessarily like recommend that, um, but you can do that as well, which is kind of cool. Um, it's definitely something that most other payment platforms don't have right out of the box. The ability to add 
uh, even a free trial with just the email, which is pretty cool. No payment details required. You could also market that. Um, so you have that option there too, or you can just opt to collect the car details so that they're automatically billed after that 30 day period. Uh, you can also limit the number of payments too, <laughs> uh, up to a certain amount of purchases. So maybe if you had like tickets that you're trying to sell and you want to make sure that any a bunch of different people get the option to purchase tickets to an event, um, you know, you can do that there. So you can limit it to just like a certain number of payments that, that a single person could make. So that could be another way to sort of, you know, edit your payment link and make it a little bit more customized to what your business needs are. Uh, you can also change the default message here too. So you can also add a custom message um, if you want to. Uh, again, you don't have to do that there. You also have other advanced options like custom fields. Um, we're not gonna be getting into that. That's like custom coding and things like that. If you're going to be doing that, you also have promotional codes. So if you do have promo codes, um, you can create those and then you can you know make sure you add that to your payment link so that people can actually utilize them. Um, and then you have also the business customers to provide tax IDs. That's more so if you're in a B2B situation um, where you have to report those things, don't necessarily have to do that. And then you can set the uh, call to action button as well. So if it is a subscription, you can set it to subscribe or if it is more of a donation, uh, you can have it be donate as the call to action button, which would make more sense if it is an actual donation. Um, and then you can hit subscribe. So we're gonna go ahead and create this link um, with that basic product. And once you have created the link, uh, as you can see here, you will then get the link that you can easily copy uh, and send over to your customers. Uh, as you can see, this is sort of like what the preview version uh, of this looks like. Uh, and if we go here, we copy the link, we go ahead and uh, test it on this page here. We go ahead and hit enter. Um, this is what the then that payment page would look like. So you have Currently, this is obviously in test mode. Uh, try lawn service, 30 days free, then $100 per month. You can enter with link, you know, their customer email, and they can opt to pay with card, cash app pay, uh, save the info with one checkout. So that's sort of their like additional payment provider. Uh, and boom, and then you can start the trial. And it also says like after, you, after your trial ends, you'll be charged $100 per month starting on December 25th, 2024. You can always cancel before then. So you have that clearly labeled. Um, that's essentially what that payment link would look like for your customers. Very easy to create, very, a lot of options ultimately. Um, just make sure you are actually, you know, taking it out of test mode when you are interested in actually activating your payments, activating things so that you can start accepting real payments. Uh, this is again, just a test mode for tutorial's sake, uh, but that's pretty much it. That's how you go ahead and easily create a payment link within Stripe. Again, a lot of cool options within here, a lot more than even some of the other payment platforms offer. You can also manage some of the payment methods too. Maybe if you want to, you know, if you want to do something else other than Apple Pay card or Cash App Pay, but really card and Apple Pay uh, is pretty good. That does cover a lot of people. Um, so you can do that as well. But again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful on how to create those payment links. Very easy to do within Stripe and go ahead and create those payment links in order to start accepting payments uh, in your business and with Stripe as well, guys. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.